Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Next week is probably gonna be one of the most dramatic weeks of the year for you. And it all got started on this Gemini full moon. It kind of unleashed a whole shit show of like the floodgates came out. Now, does this have to be bad? No, because good and bad are objective and you cannot control what happens to you, but you can control how you react to it. And we're gonna be a bunch of moody fucking bitches next week, Cancerians, but come along with me because I'm gonna describe, describe the astrology for you and we're gonna get into the cards. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle, if you're just finding me. Thank you so much for finding me. I'm so glad to have you here. This is your reading. So whatever energies I describe to you, apply them to where they resonate in your life. And the reading comes to you at exactly the right time. The astrology is for the days of like December 8th through December 15th um, next week. But overall, even then, I think that's where the energy sets off. But it comes to you, the message comes to you when you're ready to hear it. So whenever that date is. There's always an extended reading that I hope that you guys will enjoy, will join me for. That link is down below in the description box always. It's always, I pin it to the top of the comment section. And Cancerians, I will also attach it somewhere up here or up here um, toward the end of the video. So you can click right there. I also, if you're new to this channel, know that I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. And if you really like me, you'll subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up but if you really really like me you'll go over to astrology motivation and subscribe there too because that's where I do daily the next 24 hour general tarot card readings and I hope you guys will join me for that so why is it a whirlwind now I gotta say intuitively beyond the astrology intuitively I feel this is going to be an exceptional week and I will reveal to you why but in terms of the astrology <laughs> Basically, the moon is going to, uh, it's just coming out of Gemini, where we start at home. And then we end up, I believe, toward next week, uh, just eking out of Libra. We end up in Libra. And then next week's video will be the, the moon going into its fall position in Scorpio. So we're basically between uh, Cancer and Libra right now. Now, <laughs> Cancer and Libra are the two clingiest, I think, <laughs> clingiest so I'm gonna say it I'm a, I'm a Cancerian Libra rising come on I'm gonna call myself out with this we are probably the clingiest that we can be so when it comes to relationships and people liking us and, and not wanting to say the wrong thing well guess what somebody's gonna wake the mama bear this week and uh, we're gonna be tipping over and waking up and 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 having a lot of emotions because the moon is basically in opposition to every planet there in existence um I say that with a laugh because humor is a good defense against these crazy feelings that are going on inside of us and when the moon is in opposition to things, it's super emotional. We are going to be uber emotional and uber dramatic. And it's kind of just kind of like volumize whatever is happening in the sky. Between now and next week, we are going, um, the moon is going to be opposite Chiron. The moon is going to be opposite Jupiter and Neptune. The moon is going to be opposite Saturn. The moon is going to be opposite Pluto in the beginning of the week, which is a really rough day. Um, Wednesday, next Wednesday, on the I think it's 13th or the 14th, we will have a little bit of a reprieve when the moon goes into Virgo. <sighs> we can take a deep breath because uh, we'll, we will form a grand uh, earth trine between the moon, Saturn, and uh, Uranus in, Tor in, in Taurus. So there'll be a beautiful grand earth trine that forms next week. And, and that's just a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of a relief. Um, and that's that that could feel like a really good day get things done like feel that we're we're gonna be okay kind of solid ground and we are gonna be okay it's just that there are a lot of things popping up out of, at us that blindside us um, 
oppositions in astrology are blind sides. They're, they're places in astrology where you just need to have faith. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but it will be a perpetual challenge your entire life if you have oppositions in your natal chart. Challenges because you're never going to be able to touch on them with any of the tools you were given. You're going to have to use faith. And if you use faith, you can actually circumvent the opposition and come about the skill set in a different way. Now, when it's just a transit, it's not that intense, but it, it could be explosive because all oppositions make us really emotional because we don't feel like we have a lot of control over it. Even if something good happens to us, we'll feel like it sideswipes us, like it, it blinds us. So understand that faith is your best friend next week, like every day of the week all the time, your whole life, but especially now, proceed in faith. Do not jump in head first, but do trust the divine and trust that things are going to work out and whatever is happening to you, especially, I think I forgot the day of the week. I'm sorry, hold on, I'm gonna get it. You don't have to, Aries, so it's toward the end of the week because Chiron is an Aries, so toward the end of the week, the moon will be in opposition to Chiron. And holy shit, is this a really difficult place for the moon to be? Because it's basically when all your feelings of self-loathing, lack of self-worth, nobody ever loved me, my mother never loved me, she never cared, like all of those things could come flooding out of you. And just not feeling worthy, it doesn't mean that you aren't worthy. And this is where I'm talking about faith. It's just faith. Have faith when you can't see it. Trust where others can. And if somebody does give you an opportunity, which is very likely next week, because I like that we're kind of blindsided next week. Plus, we're going into a week where the moon is actually very, very at peace. Right after, after like the 17th, the moon gets into much more peaceful positioning. And so there's a sense of listen. This is gonna be a whirlwind of a week, but it's leading to somewhere very, very beautiful. And as long as you can weather the storm, realizing that life isn't always stormy, life is actually beautiful. And it's sort of like, it's sort of like the storm before the calm next week. Then trust me when I say, you're gonna be happily surprised. Let's get into the cards because I think the cards will reveal some of that to us, Cancerians. Let's see, all of this fell out and it all came out in the central section. So if the past had anything to do with it, it will come out here. And then we'll get into our predictive space, okay? So let's, uh, I'm gonna, uh, it, since it all came out together, we might be dealing with a Libra because it says embrace the in-between, but that's like front and center what God wants us to know for next week. Embrace the ambiguity, embrace the in-between, and do not try to fight it. Do not push. This is a moon journey between two cardinal signs, and cardinal signs like to, um, they like to initiate, they like to start things, but you know what? If you got to be starting something next week, it may not go so well. I'm saying this, have enough faith to know that you've already done what you've done and let it be okay for now. This is just the waiting period. It's not a no, okay? So embrace the in-between is realizing that this transitional period in your life is actually a beautiful thing. That you're not where you're meant to be, but you are where you are supposed to be. So please, please know that and embrace it and just enjoy it. Decide that you have a right to enjoy where you are now, even if it's not where you're destined to be. That every footstep you take is one you can have filled with joy. You don't have to wait to be happy. You can be happy right now. Um, and then we have, um, so what it means is if opportunities come to you next week, it could be like, okay, I, it's something that's going to be good in a transitional period of your life. It may not last forever, but that doesn't mean it, you can't make good memories. Okay. And then we have trust in the magic trust. This is Aquarius energy trust, maybe an Aquarian in your life. 
Also, trust what's being offered to you and trust the beauty of this current moment and trust this new situation. I feel like you're gonna be in a situation where you feel completely discombobulated and you don't feel completely yourself. That's okay, trust it. You may not be, like I said, where you belong, but you are where you need to be right now. This and that are true. This is more ambiguity, which is awesome. It means don't try to fight the in-between or the ambiguous next week. It's actually the lesson you're supposed to be learning and the, and the moment you're supposed to be in. This is saying, you know what? Both of you are right. Both of you are wrong. Um, like in Libra energy, like try to see it from a different perspective, from a fresh new point of view. It's almost like in some ways you're being put into situations where you're, you're forced to see the opposite side of things, the other side of the tract. You're supposed to realize uh, they, they want to humanize it for you. They want you to have that, they, the universe wants you to have that experience so that you can open up, open up, expand, broaden yourself, sing your own song and love is all around. I'm going to tell you this right now. Y'all is not going to see this fucking shit coming. It's almost like where you aren't supposed to be or where you feel most awkward is where something beautiful is going to happen. You will not be able to predict it. I am predicting that you will not be able to predict it, that this will definitely be something that is blindsided. Be around friends, that is very important. Love is all around, sing your own song. This could be actually using your voice and saying something. People will love what you say, how you sound, and how you communicate. That's kind of what it's saying. As long as you are sincere and true to to who you, who you really are inside. Um, it's not who you try to be or who you think you have to be. This could actually have something to do with singing too. I legitimately, since it's it's Libra and uh, no no no, it's it's two Gemini energy. So it's all it could be actually about talking, like that singing, talking, presenting, using using your voice to communicate your thoughts. Um, uh, love is all around. There's something to do even with the written word. Um, people really enjoying enjoying it. I think this is good news and we'll definitely get into deeper what it is act as if so this is like fly on the wall energy it's like trying to blend in or somebody who's trying to blend in co-create with spirit this is once again just saying let spirit guide you blend don't try to stand out right now is a lucky time for growth expansion and abundance including pregnancy this could be that somebody was keeping something secret or somebody was holding back but whatever they're holding back is abundance and be playful so this is going to be actually a very happy week all the craziness all the confusion it's going to be actually a very happy week kind of kooky why why would it be happy i don't fucking know let's get deeper into the cards why would this be a happy week what actually would look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius so it's 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 <laughs> to broaden you to expand you to make you enjoy life in general and make you realize it's, it's basically to snap you out of your shell that's why next week is happening the way that it is. To make, to get you out of your comfort zone, to tear you out of your comfort, to get you out of your shell, to not give you a chance to hide. Oh, that's kind of what it is, dude. It's the Cancerians are about to be deshelled. I gotta fix that. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I know. I know. I'm on. I'm, I'm on. I'm not sophisticated. Cancerians, y'all about to de be deshelled. Ooh, it's chilly. Yeah, it is chilly and it is scary, but it is also very beautiful and sweet and tender. So know that it's broader, it's bigger than you. And it's time to like put yourself out there and be a part of the world, be a part of the wider world. Could, for some of you, this could mean foreign travel, but I don't think it even has to be that specific. What I'm thinking is this card simply means it's, it's, 
next week is going to put you into a broader mindset, a bigger perspective, seeing different, maybe introduce, being introduced to different cultures, different languages. It's, it's about more than you. It's bigger. It could also say da, 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 that you are being thrust onto a bigger stage, a larger platform than you've had before. This could put you onto the global map instead of just the community, comfortable, like where you usually are map is kind of what I'm saying. Okay, now let's get into some specifics here because I got questions. Uh, dear Lord. Um, what did I want to ask? I totally forgot. My mind went blank. But let's see what the card, what card came out. Seven of Wands. Stick to your guns. Stand your ground. This is telling me that you will definitely know what's important to you. That next week will make something very clear to you. And that is your priorities. And that you will never give up. And it is your tenacious spirit that will actually be what stands out about you. This is also victory and success. Victory and success. Like, yay, you stood up. You, you did it. You persevered. So something about being tenacious something about something that you stuck with and you didn't give up on you kept pushing and you kept you just kept doing it now this isn't just pushing next week next week is not necessarily the week to push but this is saying this is when your hard work pays off though that card has not come out yet so hold on hang with me hang with me we have the chariot <laughs> you're showing up in your own reading this is a blessing for you. This is also saying that you are about to move forward. Tell me they don't look like they're an aha, right? Don't they, or isn't that, doesn't he look like, take on me, right? Okay, that's just me. Okay, uh, um, but that's kind of, he totally looks like that person. He totally looks like take on me, don't, doesn't he? Stop. This is, I, I know, I digress, but he totally looks like that. Um, you're about to get a huge push forward. And I knew, I could feel it. Looking at the charts, I'm like, oh, it's going to be a shit show. Fucking next week. Jesus Christ. Cancerians are going to be off the cusp crazy. I think that's why it's so beautiful for us. Because really, we're at our best when we're at our craziest. Everybody can say that they hate us, but really, the only time people hate Cancerians, it's not when we're being emotionally crazy because that's just what we are. It's when we're trying to pretend like we're happy when we're not. It's when we're, we're, we're projecting other people's emotions and saying it's our own. That is when people don't trust us and when people get sick of us. But when we are just like off the cusp, fucking insane, and our emotions are all over the place, that's just us. And as long as you're true to you, this is almost like, it's like an explosion, but like a party explosion, like, like a celebration, you know, like an explosion of confetti. I don't know. Are you celebrating some shit? Because yeah, you will persevere. Three of swords. There's huge heartbreak. There's huge suffering because oh, it's like you have to make a decision that really really was hard on your heart um page of swords is here there's something there's something heartbreaking maybe about i don't know are you traveling well that's not good because i'm traveling next week um three of swords what is this king of swords oh don't speed <laughs> don't speed because you'll end up getting put in front of a judge I'm just letting you know. I know that's very specific, but I have to remind myself of that. Don't speed because you'll end up getting put in front of a judge. Page of Swords is a new start, new begin, new idea. King of Swords is making a decision, a very clear decision about a new idea. But what is the heartbreak here? It's almost like a decision is going to come down that's going to break your heart, but it's also going to liberate you for a whole new direction. Page of Pentacles is here too. Brand new, new direction. Okay, planting the seed with something completely different. Stop. Let's go back. Please clarify. Please clarify. What is this Three of Swords here for? It could be that you're finally able to move away from heartbreak. Death. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That is not what I wanted to know. 
The death card is here. This is scorpionic energy. It is upright. When it's upright, it usually means um, resurrection. Heartbreak. 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 I asked to clarify. Resurrection of heartbreak. Resurrect. Oh, that's what it means. Your heartbreak is coming out. The things that have made you sad, the things that something that is really you've been suffering, maybe even suffering in silence for, but it's all come together and it's like you figured, it's like you figured out what's finally bothering you. <gasps> Stop. Have y'all been just bothered like for the past couple of months? Have you? Leave your comments below because I really want to know because I'm a cancer and I'm actually a stellium cancer. So have you been bugged like something has been fucking bothering you for the past couple of months and you knew it was coming you knew it was coming you knew it was coming and just you just it just when was it gonna come it's gonna come next week but what's gonna come is the clarity about it of why you were suffering or why you were bothered or what whatever was building up it's just gonna be there in front of you now what it is, I'm going to try to get that answer because it could be different for many of us. But God, for most of us, what is it? Now, this death card here makes me think we're finally coming back from a heartbreak. That, that worry, that suffering, that anxiety that you've been experiencing, you're finally going to be able to get over it. That's what the death card means. It's the end of the anxiety. It's the end of the heartbreak. It's the end of the, like, oh, I could feel something coming. That's what's going to end, and we have a new start. New start, because what comes after that? Immediately what comes after that is a decision that's been made, right? Decision, uh, an official decision, because it's the King of Swords. Clear decision, and then Page of Swords is a message coming in or coming through. Strength. We have been made to wait to build our strength, and we're going to be so much stronger for having been put through. Like we have, to, it could have been for the past seven years. Definitely for the past seven months, we have been fighting and struggling and forced to not give up. This is actually when we are going to get the relief that we so desperately want. Let's look into the future. I'll go to the extended right now. I hope you come with me. The links are below.